I was asking if you can step out of the vehicle for me. Um, Alright, I want you to step back to the sound of my voice. Stop. Slowly back up to the sound of our voice. I'm running. Hey! I, I got I got an idea. Because I'm, I'm fine with jumping. I'm going there and I'm fine with jumping. So how about you drop the least charges against me? The, like the smallest one. Uh, pretty much stay, well the driver stated that you pointed the gun and even forced him to drive off. So, <laughs> I mean there's that. Uh... So essentially the plan is both mine and Fred's characters have warrants for a lot of bad stuff. Mm -hmm. You're just an innocent friend. Um, Hopefully they no. don't search the innocent no, no, friend. No. You're Mexican and Fred's <laughs> warrant is for trafficking. So he's trying to traffic us back to Mexico. Uh, because I'm wanted and you're just Mexican. <laughs> I'm uh, wanted in your mess. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so we're going to get pulled over for some jank shit and probably the most epic priority stop ever. You do realise we're all going to jail for a long time. Well, well not drunky. Well, Calvin will be fine. It depends on who shows up because um, if it's any cop that knows Lil Ruckus then they're going to know that I'm not innocent. <laughs> it doesn't matter, they can't prove shit. <laughs> I've got two fucking warrants. Now, Not both of them are bad. Is, when oh, yeah. the cops are behind me, do I do I run for a moment? No. We want it to just be a normal priority stop. I am shady convictor. I'm here. Uh, why are your us? hazard lights on? Also, are we driving? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Not on your screen? No. Straight forward? Yep. Should all three of us just pay bail as well? <laughs> if I got enough money, I will. But mine's gonna be a hefty bill. I say I, uh... Oh, actually, no, I'll be fine. I forgot, I, I pulled like two million, just so I could have some pocket change. Yeah, my bill is gonna be extremely hefty. You might not even get Sorry, in trouble, no, Drunky. I doubt you will. Unless you got an active warrant or some shit, you should be okay. Don't have an active warrant, but yeah, Lil you should Ruckus be okay. Then. kind of a dick when it comes to cops. Yeah, so you'll get yourself arrested. <laughs> yeah, let's change car. I don't think they're going for the Hummer. Uh, nope. Right, so let's take this time to get our story straight then. So okay. you're deporting both of us to Mexico. You're human trafficking both of us. We don't know each other. Yep. Do you agree, Kelvin? Yep. Nice. Now, the um, here's the thing. I don't know you by name, you don't know me by name. We... For me, you're John and Bill. And what? And Bill. I love, or Bob. Bob. I thought you said Beryl the first time. I was like, what? <laughs> John and Bill. John and Beryl. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm not being Beryl. <laughs> <laughs> so who no, okay so one of you have to be Kenny for me which one of you looks the most like a Kenny you look like a Kenny so you're a Kenny John in the back or no Bob in the back Bob in the back sorry fuck's sake you're about to repair it anyway but I can put some holes in your windscreen that was a cop Nice, we finally got one, Jesus Christ. Oh, ah. And I just caught up as well, there we go. So just to confirm, I am Senior Bob. I'm Senior Kevin, Calvin, no, what am I? Uh, Kenny. Kenny. When they code five us, I might get out of the car and run down my dead end there. <laughs> nah, that'd be <laughs> stupid. Please do. I should have parked a bit forward so we just could run, run off. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't actually know what happens if you run off from a Code 5. I hear more cops. 
Mm hmm. There's one straight ahead where he hasn't done anything yet. No, he went straight. Fuck. You can't Thank see inside you, either. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I try with the all tinted windows? As I said, I've still got my gun on me. Well, I have a bat. <laughs> yeah, that's the least of your problems. <laughs> oh shit. Um. Uh, he's coming up to the passenger side. How you doing this evening, or uh, afternoon, sir? Hey, hey buddy. buddy. Officer uh, Smith here at the Los Santos PD. Uh, the reason for the stop is uh, one, when you made that first right turn, you came around it kind of aggressively, and the second turn that you made, leftbound, uh, to head, uh, come down this road, you went in between two vehicles on a red light and still continued to make the left. Any reason for the, uh, well, yeah, I guess no, you call my... it reckless driving? Yeah, no, my yeah, my buddy at the back here is uh, hurt, and we have to take <laughs> him to the hospital, you know. And uh, you know, Bob, Bob needs the hospital, so we we decided we need to go because you guys are you, the, the ambulance are always slow. Okay, so you your buddy was wait, I'm sorry, can you say that again? And could you roll down your back windows for me, please? Uh, you have to ask him because I—it's it, not an electric back window. It's uh, it's swerved down. Ah, uh, okay. That's why I see you have some pretty, pretty, pretty dark window tint. So again, can you explain to me where you were heading uh, after you hit me? Yeah, your no, they... Yeah, sure. Here you go. Here you go. It's Jesus Gonzalez. All right, Jesus Gonzalez. Is this your vehicle? This is my vehicle, man. Okay. All right, so explain to me why you were carelessly driving away, the direction away from the hospital? Unless you're heading down to uh, CLS? I, no, I, I I searched for a hospital on the uh, the, the GPS right, and it, it told me to go down to that, the one down, you know, down there somewhere. Okay, so what's going on with your buddy? Was he involved in some kind of an accident or something? No, I just felt sick, and I, I don't know, I was just like, ah, I'm gonna take you now, we're gonna go there. He, he, he was really sick earlier, he was almost paid. Okay, alrighty. Uh, where are you guys coming from? The uh, we came from up top. Um, I don't know the streets. Don't know the streets, okay. The, uh, the apartment oh, blocks up there. That's where we came from. Oh, oh okay. Alrighty, uh, quick question, one last question. Have you guys uh, smoked weed in the vehicle anytime recently? In the last nah, man, you know, I don't couple smoke. days. No, I don't smoke. smoke. Okay. Is there any reason why uh, I uh, smell a uh, aroma of weed coming from the vehicle? Uh, when I approach the vehicle, I smell the small aroma of weed coming from the vehicle. Is there any reason for that? It could have been one that passes by. No, nah, man. Okay, none of you guys have any weed on you or anything like that? Nah. Nah, man. Alright. Weed's for losers. Well, uh, it's dangerous, what? you know? It destroys you. It is, it is. Alright, it's going to sit tight for me. Uh, don't go nowhere. Okay, seriously, what do we do if they try and search the car? We could flee and then just stop after about two minutes. So okay, then they'll code five us. That's probably shit, but yeah. Alrighty, uh, just hey, really quick, hey. uh, just because um, we both did smell the slight aroma from the vehicle gives us probable cause to take a look through the vehicle. So driver, if you could just step out. Uh, I'm just gonna detain you guys at the moment, just, just, just so that way we can confirm that there's no weed in the vehicle or on your person. Do you uh, guys have weed on you? As long as there's none of that, no, we'll, but I've we'll got a gun and I'm a bomb. Uh, written warning or citation, depending on what you recommend. So recommend. drive. Yeah, drive and then stop in about two minutes. Uh, what, what, uh, did, what you did you say, man? Did you say, man? I did, I didn't hear. I was asking if you can step out of the vehicle for me. Um, yeah, do like a the small chase and then do like a small chase and then stop once they've got enough to coke five us.
We've got three units, so floor it down here, fast you can. And then just stop. On it. <laughs> Don't let them ram us. Just, just pull over. Now it gets interesting. Alright, driver, put your hands. Go ahead How and do I put uh, my hands up? keys out the window. Y key. Y key. Open the door with your left okay. hand. Alright, I want you to step back to the sound of my voice. Stop. A little too far, but that works, I guess. Right, don't move, bud. Uh, there's two other people in the vehicle. I'm gonna oh, run. That's not the person I want. When wanted. they get me out. God, I've got lethal on the other. Alright, when do you, you guys want to get the other two out, I'll get him back here. Put him in a vehicle. Yeah, if you want to, I've got, I've got these guys if you want to pull out the uh, passenger. Which one? Passenger! With your hands out, step out of the vehicle and face away from <laughs> us. I mean, Matthew Scott. Go, scored. go first. Calvin. Front passenger. Oh, well, that's your lead. left hand. Slowly open the door and step out. Shit. Face away. Slowly back up to the sound of our voice. I'm running. Hey. hey. Shit. Come on, frame rate, please. Drunky, get out of the car with the hands up. Get out of the car with the hands up. <laughs> I'm currently running across the freeway. Shit, I'm out of breath already. Look towards him. Look towards him. Did they even follow me? You had a born guy on your tail. Ah, shit. Corey. <laughs> So, uh, let's talk deal. Uh, let's not talk deal. I huh? mean, if you want to talk a deal, we could talk a deal, but, I mean, why'd you run? Um, you want the honest answer? Drunk, put the shot so I can hear you. Shift us, uh, eight. What's that? You want, you want the honest answer? I do want an honest answer from you. Uh, I've got some, uh, some pretty bad charges against me. <laughs> so... Got some pretty bad charges against you, and that's the reason to run? Did... I, I got... I got an idea. Because I'm, I'm fine with jumping, I'm going down, and I'm fine with jumping. So how about... You drop the least charges against me, the, like the smallest one. So you want so in exchange for not jumping, you want me to drop the least. You, you want me to give you the least amount of charges. In other words, I mean, I'm borderline death penalty as it is, so you might as well. Well, how about this? How about this? You come down, you talk to me, give me a name, and we can work something out. What do you mean by work something out? We we can we can look at what to do about your charges. I just if you come down and you come talk to me down here, obviously I still got to do my job. 
you know, get you cuffs, do all that nature. But as long as you ain't got nothing on you, it's illegal. Uh, we could possibly work something out. I just don't want you jumping. It looks like he just tossed it again. If you want to, you guys want to go ahead and grab that from him or from wherever he tossed it. I got you. Got me covered. Tossed, well. Yep. Yeah, I got you covered. Let me skip. You need to come down. Um. And there goes the knife as well. I don't know, I'm going to prison for like a really long time. And I'm getting kind of bored of that shit. Well, well, we'll see about that. I mean, if you come down and talk to me, then we can figure something out for you, man. If the judge is feeling nice, he might give you probation, but we'll see. How about this? I want the option for bail. Because sometimes, okay. well, so, sometimes they don't let me have it, so I want the option. Well, it is officer's discretion. So, I mean, if you come down and talk to me, not you know, obviously you don't make me come up there, make one of these other officers come up there and get you down, then, uh, you know, we can work that out. I'll definitely work that out with you, man. I, I'll I just, be honest, I, I kind of like you. I don't want no more running. So I'm inclined to trust you. Don't let me down, bro. I'm not going to let me down. Oh, that Whoa. was a fast ascent. Yep, there he was. Alrighty. Alrighty, man. Just go ahead and just face away from me, please. Alright. Alright, do everything else on your should know about it's illegal. Had a sick Pokemon hurt me anyway. Nah, I got a diamond. That's for my girl. Alrighty. Wrapped in tissue. You see you. So you talked him down, guys. Good work. Yeah. Units ready. You know, we thought we'd do all the hard work and can let you deal with the rest. <laughs> oh come on, man! You said you have that else on you. You got twenty-three dollars of dirty money. I mean, it's not major, but come on. Do I? I'm sorry. Who smells like? I weed? don't even know where I got that from. I didn't okay. even know that well, was I'm dirty. I'm just gonna grab that from. Yeah, it's dirty. Does your man. suspect smell like weed? Uh, the entire vehicle in general smelled like. We uh, when I started when I asked the driver to step out to search him one by one, that's when he took off. The, the guy in the back seat was no smoking earlier. I might have got something on my clothes. Okay, well, you okay, so don't have no weed. You didn't happen to toss anything out of the window. No, I wouldn't. No. If I was going to toss anything, yeah, I would have tossed the gun. Uh, who picked up the? Gun and knife that he tossed. Ah, uh, yeah, I've got it. I've got his uh, his gun. Um, if you want to come over here, I can give it to you. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, if you guys, uh, you should be good to go. I think we got these. Okay. Uh, do you know who we got the other two? Yeah, there's one guy. Yeah. 1015 up by the vehicle. I, don't, I only saw one though. I don't know if there was another one or not. There's another guy in the back seat. I don't know if anybody got him or not. I saw the guy <laughs> in the back scared. seat. Um, I'm not good. All right, I'll go up there and check if you want. Yeah. Yeah, well, the yeah. news is very one-sided. Uh, you good here, Toto? I'm good. I just need to get him back to the where the original stop was, which is just which on the was? side of the highway over there. Just over there. Uh, is it going to be easy with in one of those vehicles? Uh, I would assume oh, yeah, I see it. the tours, yeah. I mean, Frogger and yeah, handcuffs. Yeah, that's one of those guys. I'm all the way over. I'm all the way over there, so... Uh, yeah, man. Been search? 11th of March, 91. Uh, no nah, man. All right, well you got two active warrants, my guy. Yeah, that's why I run. All right. All right. Uh, let's see, we got three. Right, if you want to go ahead, I'll take him out of your vehicle and put him in one of these. If you want to go ahead and clear off. Yeah. And... Yeah, I can do that. Motherfucker. It's done. Jesus Christ. Dominic's car. Fucking brilliant. Alrighty. Alright. Alright, Mr. Victor. I'll go ahead and uh, walk uh, walk around the other side of this vehicle and we'll pick a vehicle for you to go in. Alrighty. <laughs> Alright, I've got one, one in, my... in the back of my uh, in the back of my PIU. 
Okay. Well, this is our third gentleman. He's got two active warrants, so I don't know if anybody's willing to... I could probably take two, or we can throw him in this one. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I can transport. Uh, I can take. Yeah, if you, if you could transport one, that'd be great. If you want to transport this guy. Yep. I got you. Should we, we got names of the other two? Uh, yeah, the one that's uh, in the back of mine Stacey is Stacey Shige. Shige, and uh, he's clean. Okay. Alright. And, and Mr. Victor, his, um... His warrant, or on his record, but nothing crazy. Okay. And Mr. Victor, if you want to go ahead and have a seat here in the back of this tourist, we'll get you down to the station and we'll go up from there, okay? You going up to right. our mission? Yeah, mission row. Mr. Victor here has two active warrants, so he's... Let's see what I can do for him. I told him I'd try to cut him a deal or work with him on this charges, so we'll see what happens with that. But he's got two active warrants right now, so I don't think that's gonna work. But we'll yeah. see. Alright, I'll bring this guy up and uh, let me know what you want to do with him when we get up there, and I'll get a 1070 for the uh, vehicle. Sounds good. Uh, I don't know which one the rear passenger was, but from Mr. Victor's statement, he told me the rear passenger was smoking some weed. So. Oh. Okay, that's gonna be the guy in my cruiser. That's gonna be the uh, Stacy Shigay guy. Yeah, when we search, when I searched him, Question I didn't find any of that. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, yeah, Calvin. Yeah, okay. Hey, how's it going, officer? Yo, man, you? No, I'm preparing for the chair. Yeah, why'd you run, man? Because I'm preparing for the chair. I was trying to avoid it. I know, but, you know, might as well play the cards you got. You can just drop me off by here if you want, I'll make my own way in. I think he got lost. these doors down there keep going in doors locked man Can I have this cell? They're coming in here. Gosh darn it. Let's go. I already know the routine. Oh, the front passenger, this one, at Shea, uh, Dion Victor. He's got two active warrants and he's been arrested twice with multiple fractions. With speeding and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, I think he's gonna be the uh, big one here. The two yeah. are just kind of break and send them on their way. That's Cause... that's what I'm thinking. They're talking about releasing you, but I'm in some hot water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so to put it lightly, they're calling it S A I N. I'm pretty sure I got mon murder of an LEO, right. armed robbery, well, Mr. Victor's warrants, the invasion, family warrants. The second one is aggravated assault, armed robbery, possession of a firearm with person by. What oh, that sounds like me. Yeah. Possession of a legal firearm is the second warrant. Nice. Yep, that was the list. Okay. <laughs> That's probably why he forced the guy to run, which I would not doubt, considering also, too, he had another firearm on him when we finally was able to get him off that sign. Um, yeah, if we, we'll just cut them too loose. If you want to get with the driver um, on the two aggressive turns that he made and give him, like, a very stern verbal warning, 
That would be great. Yeah, even though he fled, it. what the fuck? Uh, it's going to be. I got the plate. Um, the vehicle comes back to a Jesus Gonzalez. <laughs> um, Jesus. That's the name of the RO. I don't know if it's his name or not. Right, if you want to just double check that with him. Uh, yeah. Si, All right. Hey, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut you loose. Okay. How long, Dragon? I'm uh, facing. Like this guy was forcing you to do some stuff. What are you facing? I'm, I'm sorry about that, oh, man. Oh, sorry. I. Yeah. Well, I'm going down, obviously. Understandable. I mean, if he's holding a gun to you, but uh, you know, just watch yourself driving. All right. All right. Uh, so but, uh, you are aware of your two yourself. active warrants, you have, correct? Watch who you associate with. Yep. Right? Si senor, si senor. I okay. thought it'd be more than that. I just wanted to make sure. Talk to your partner and then uh, get you guys out of here. Okay. No, it's just the two. Yeah. Um, so pretty much um, what I'm gathering here is uh, right, you're trying to get force. The same thing. I'm going to get you, get you on out of here. Just watch who you associate with, okay? Understood. Alrighty. So, um... What you're facing, obviously, um, right, come on out. you said you're aware of the two warrants, so you'll be getting the attempted murder charge uh, from the right, one on warrant, out. which is a felony in the first degree. Yep. Um, the second warrant, which contains four different charges, one being aggravated assault, which is a felony three, armed robbery is a felony two, and then possession of a firearm by uh, someone with the... History of a felony is a felony one, and the possession of illegal firearm, which is felony two. I would like to contest the assault one. I didn't touch him. You didn't touch him? No, that was the other guy. Okay, well, um... Should I just start at the beginning? Well, consider I wasn't there for any of this, so I'm just basically going off what the warrant's telling me, uh, which ain't much. It's just listing your charges, which is very uh, So basically, this guy approaches me. He's like, do you want to hit an armored car? And I'm a bit short on the dough after paying... I paid the winnings to charity over a race I did with the cops. Genuine race, not fleeing. And I was short of cash, so he was like, yo, do you want to hit an armored car? And I was like, fuck it, why not? So we went up to Pleto, and he told me to pull up and point my gun at him. He went up, took the cash, hit him with his, the butt of his gun, and ran off. So I was like, well, that happened. So I got in my car, ditched, in the lumber mill. He picked me up. We fled. And then the next day, a cop recognized me, so I hit him with my car. So you... If I, if I just heard you correctly, you said you ran a cop over with your car? Yeah, one of the local officers. If you catch my oh, drift. locals. Okay. Yeah, he recognized me, and I was like, oh, shit. And he pointed his gun, so I floored it and hit him. Well, I mean, that's still aggravated assault. An attempted murder, especially on a law enforcement. Uh, if you want to run yeah, to that, but uh, I think the assaults ahead. for the van, but the driver, I didn't hit him. The other guy did, and that's God's honest truth, man. I mean, I've admitted everything else. Why would I lie about that? Right, right. Uh, fuck, I got your badge number. Um, if you just got that alert, if you want to run and help yeah, out with that, um, I right, should be all right. I'll take off. I got this. Have a good one. You too, man. Stay safe. Okay. Alrighty. So, I mean, regardless, like I said, I wasn't there for it. I mean, obviously, you're telling me that you didn't do it. Uh, I wasn't there. The officer that put out the warrants isn't here, and there's no witnesses that was there when it happened, or even the victim, so therefore, I can't... I can't say I will or won't charge you with it. Um, it depends. At this point, every other charge that's on these two warrants is more and more of a high priority than what that aggravated assault is. I know, that's why, like... So... I mean, I'm just pointing that out. I know I'm going to jail for a long time anyway. Well... 
here's the thing. Um, obviously, your bill is going to be through the through the roof. I don't know. I might be able to pay it. I need to know how much it is. Uh, but let me get all the paperwork drawn up for you, and I will let you know here in a minute. Um, and then uh, we'll get you on your way. All right, nice. Well, overall, I think this is going well. I'm being deadly honest. And the thing about the cop, that was a warrant I asked Matthew to put on just to spice it up a bit. I never actually hit a cop. That's why I said a local officer. But yeah, I'm, I'm going down for a long time anyway, so it really doesn't matter. But I'm being true about the um, aggravated, what was it, aggravated assault, whatever, battery. Genuinely didn't do that, as far as I remember. So, oh well, going down for a long time. Anyway, so let's see what he comes up with for the bail. I'm guessing, oh, my guess, $780,000. That's my guess. So, how's life going on your end? It's going good. <laughs> You're both getting released, in you? Yep. Yep. I got a, a stern verbal warning, which wasn't even stern. <laughs> I've got an assault charge, two misdemeanors, two felony threes, two felony ones, and a felony two. What the fuck? Oh, so it's not that bad, then. I'm looking at probably a million dollars bail. Okay, so, um, doing the, uh, calculations here, you're looking at about 70 years, um, or a, let's see here. Or a, let's see, 70 years or a $900,000 fine. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I can pay that. You pay it? Okay. Yeah, I'm stretching the budget, but I suppose I can. It's either that or life, in it. Pretty much. I mean, not much I can do for you. I mean, you got the the you got just the. If it, if it wasn't for those um, warrants, man, you probably would have just been walking out of here with a simple fleeing. And being in possession of a firearm by a known felon. That's probably about it, but with the with the two warrants, um, and then what you did tonight, um, I just kind of, yeah. And I can't charge you double on certain charges, uh, one being the possession of a firearm by a person with the history of a felony. I can't charge you twice for that, but I can still give it to you, so... No, right. But, uh, I'll tell you the charges you are getting so that way you know. Uh, the armed robbery, the attempted murder, fleeing and looting, <laughs> and the possession of a firearm by a known felon. Those are the four charges you are receiving. Yeah, that's fair enough. As I said, man, tonight was small fish compared to... Like, even if I gave up straight away, let's be honest, I'd still be in you. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. Um, but, so with that being said, um... That's that. Let me get these fines over to you, and uh, this might take a while. <laughs> once they get done and paid for, then uh, you'll be able to walk out of here freely. Seven hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand, nine hundred thousand. I believe my accountant will deal with that now. I just emailed him. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. What was that? I just emailed my account and I think he's dealing with it now. Okay. Alrighty, looks like we're good. <laughs> Alrighty, man. Well, listen, I, I get it. Obviously, you're a big time guy. You do your thing. You. Well, I hopefully try to avoid trouble and not get in trouble on purpose. But it looks like. Yeah, I mean, I can't say you did it on purpose. Cause, you know, I'm not going to sit there and accuse you of that. But, uh. Don't get two guys to do your dirty work if you kind of catch the drift there. I mean, because you almost got them in trouble. What do you want about? Oh, uh, I don't know. Maybe. No, no, actually, it was somebody different. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said that. Yeah, he, he you fled of his weird. own accord. Keep... I just went with him. Okay, yeah, it's a completely different situation. Um, 
Don't know. Wait, what? Yeah, why? What did they say? Uh, well, what really made it look made you look guilty on the part of what was said is because you had the firearm on you. But uh, pretty much, they well, the driver stated that you pointed the gun at him and forced him to drive off. So, <laughs> I mean, there's that. Uh, no, that's not but... true. Then I got his name, and uh, yeah, I could talk to him later. Yeah, I've that. paid for it now. I might as well say yeah, but I didn't. Wait, you did do that or no? No, I didn't, but I've paid the fine now, so I guess it doesn't well, matter. No, well, I mean, you still got what you got for the fleeing because you jumped out of the vehicle and took off running. Mm. No, I don't know why you fled. I didn't point a gun at him. Oh, <laughs> you would have seen that through the window, surely. Surely, yeah, probably. Oh, yeah. That's oh, God damn it! All right, well I'll be talking to him. I'll be, he'll be obviously he'll be visiting the impound lot to get his vehicle out. I'll put something on it so that he can't pull it out unless he comes and talks to uh, huh. somebody first. And uh, yeah, I can't believe you yeah, said that. Not too good for him later. Yeah, if I if, trust me, if I told him to flee, I would have picked the back alley to flee from. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, I don't Another know. I mean, the, our our fucking. Vehicles are good up and going out. Did he so, even tell you what he was uh, doing anyways, with us? I think I think he's pulled the wall over your eyes, officer. He was trying to traffic me and that Jesus guy to Mexico. Me to avoid my charges, him to God knows. The guy in the back seat? Yeah, he's going back to Mexico. He's trying to get trafficked. He lost his citizenship. And I needed to get to Mexico to try and avoid these charges. Ah. Uh, see this. This is why I wish our investigator didn't decide to go, I'm going home, like right after we ended the pursuit. <laughs> well, you got the wool pulled over your eyes. Sorry, I shouldn't blow to that, but no, it's, 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 it's entertained me. I mean, I mean, hey, you, hey, you called it how you see it, so, I mean, you're right. That's why we have the investigator to stick around and deal with that stuff like that, but he decided, oh, I'm just gonna, you know, <laughs> go home early because, uh, Screw it, why not? I tell you, I'm many things. I'm an asshole, I'm a robber, I'm a murderer, but I'm honest. Yeah, well. This is probably too late to even try to go after either of them or even him because he's probably already, already on a plane and already gone. Mm hmm, probably to Mexico. <laughs> no, I wouldn't doubt it. Alrighty, man, well, you're paid up, you're good to go. Um, try to stay out of trouble for me. I'll do my best, but I ain't promising. Okay. Uh, we'll both walk out the back here since I'm heading that way too, so. Yeah, you got played, man. It's probably worth talking to people before you let the others go. Oh, well, that was kind of a group decision, I guess you could say, even though the story. I didn't even get the stories from either of them. They told the other two officers that were there, and then I kind of gathered it from them. <laughs> yeah, I would have told you if but I did that. Kind of, yeah, I mean, it all kind of pointed at you because you did have the firearm, and that's kind of why we agreed to that, but I guess I'll look into it next time. Yeah, better luck next time. <laughs> have a good one. Um, I do apologize in advance. Oh, yeah, my bail was 900,000. <laughs> uh, I may have told them that you didn't actually hold a gun to my head. That's... No. I didn't even know you told them that. Hey, right, guys. <laughs> I'm switching to Civ if one of you wants to pick me up. Nice. Where you at? I'm at uh, 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 Mission Row right now. Yeah, I'll get you. Uh, I'm there as well. Do you want me to get all of you? Yes. Okay, guys. That's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, that was interesting. I dropped them in it well and proper. Uh, and I will see you next time. Peace out, guys. <laughs>